on the channel today i'm checking out the packaging images for the new moto origins serpent claw man at arms who's described on card as the snake hunting weapons master i've shared my thoughts on this figure in a previous video i find it largely uninspiring just an overall lazy redeco and they completely ignored the need to make the serpent claw attachment something truly imposing here it just looks like a bottle opener that being said there are a lot of customizing possibilities here and for completists it's incredible that a simple redeco like this now comes in a regular wave okay it's not relegated to that of an exclusive like how they just randomly decided to do with the mini comic many faces i mean think about it they made us buy other redecoed mini comic figures in the regular waves didn't they even bullshit like straight toes. but when it comes to something really awesome looking like the many faces figure no Okay, they couldn't insert it in a regular wave. I don't know why. On the instructions here, we are told to push the serpent core contraption over the existing hand. Just push it on top of everything that's already there. And then the next picture tells you to adjust its position to capture your enemies. It does not seem like the green claw attachment is even removable. There doesn't seem to be all that much that you can do with this. Now, we also get our first official look at the cross cell for the new wave 14 figures. The Eternian Palace card is now known as the Snake Man Infiltrator. And this is the only other lazy read echo in this wave. A required sacrifice, I guess, in order to justify the new tooling for Squeeze and Spike Core. Also, that's what everyone seems to normally think. But really though, why keep pushing the cost over to the consumer? It's not like these figures are made out of premium materials or anything like that. And besides, the individual figures have already gone up in price so much, okay, since 2020, okay, isn't that enough to cover the cost? On the card back out, okay, we see Man at Arms in explosive combat against this gigantic snake monster type creature that's actually supposed to be known as Stretch Neck, okay. Stretch Neck is supposed to be like an unproduced character from the classics days. Anyway, this thing just looks freaking massive and it's just awesome looking all around once again i get the feeling that the characters that appear in the card back artwork you know, for the longest time appears to be the characters that you actually want to own as action figures and not necessarily the character that you're buying all right this has been the case since wave 13 by the way wave 13 is not even in malaysia yet but we've just covered it okay thanks to the wealth of images and information and the worldwide distribution that seems to be on those particular figures that have not turned up here yet but it seems that ever since those redecos from wave 13 okay all they've done is just teasers with more exciting characters on the card back artwork all right and not just any characters but really obscure characters that tend to drive the communication on these figures online okay just tend to drive the conversations the discussions and in fact i mean you're getting this serpent claw man at arms figure but what you really want to do is start the conversation on this stretch neck figure okay stretch neck is another in a long list of unproduced snake man like characters that were designed by axel imanus and it seems that okay with the appearance here on the artwork possibly they're going to turn up in origins at some point i don't know when but stretch neck is looking freaking awesome he's got to be like some kind of a deluxe oversized figure from the looks of it okay because he's easily at least twice the size of an average masters of the universe hero or villain okay so he's got to be huge okay just let me know if they're doing this thing i'm totally down for it something like this but you know what there's just no way that this feeble looking serpent claw attachment can actually put the stranglehold on a monstrous creature like stretch neck here there's just no way i mean the claw looks like a bathtub toy okay how is he going to wrangle this thing in okay there's just no way guys Okay, I'm excited to see what else is coming. What other reveals are going to be put out there by Mattel. These images come courtesy of Manuel Eduardo Caritas on his Instagram page. I guess he's going to be loading us with more information on the rest of the figures in the wave. Let's look out for that one. In the meantime, you know, drop your comments below on Serpent Claw, Man at Arms.